last stage after the first one? <coughs> Which one did you prefer? Um, I think it's better. I prefer the, the last one, otherwise, yeah, it's one week ago already. It seems such a long time ago. And uh, <coughs> yeah, I step uh, today or tomorrow in with a good feeling in the plane. And uh, um, also as a team, again, was was good. Uh, yeah, with, with Mark at, as a last man, was uh, worked out perfect for me. Uh, Graham Brown was uh, involved in the crash before, but that didn't disturb your plans. Um, yeah, I, I remember the crash was in front and a little bit to the right of me. I just, I was able to move to the left and I was able not to break too hard, so I didn't lose too much speed. So I, I and then I stayed uh, just uh, in the back of the group uh, of that group. I just I don't try to move up directly. And then I saw Mark was coming back to me, and he brought me up to the front. And uh, yeah, then Greipel did a, a, a really long turn. That was that was our luck also a little bit maybe. And uh, yeah, the last yeah when Mark went, I knew it was yeah it was it was good because he went really hard. Um, first, I was a little bit afraid he went too late because, yeah, we said uh, during the laps we said already, yeah, be careful, not go, don't go too early in the front because it was a little bit headwind and it went, it was a, uh, yeah, a little bit down. So, yeah, maybe the bunch come from the back and passes us with higher speed, and uh, but yeah, that that didn't uh, happen. People often say that it's uh, more complicated to uh, confirm than win the first time. Having two wins here, the Tour of Turkey, does that put you at uh, World Tour status as a sprinter? Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, I know I'm fast, but still as a cyclist, I'm, I'm not... Uh, I don't find myself a, a, a really good cyclist in general. I think uh, I'm, I'm a fast right, uh, I'm a fast guy on a bike, and especially for 200 meters. But yeah, cycling on the road uh, is it's yeah longer than 200 meters, and uh, yeah, I, I still I think have to improve on the other aspects more and more, and to yeah to be more certain in big races. And I I haven't done many World Tour races. I did. I did one time Volta uh, in 2010, where yeah, I was nowhere near a win, and I did last year uh, an Eco Tour, and I was one time fourth in a bunch sprint. So on World Tour level, I yeah, until now I I was not able to to do good results. So I hope I, I do my best, and uh, hopefully the Giro will uh, I will start with that. This is World Tour level. For the sprinters. Yeah, it's not worth the race, but it's worth to eleven. That's true. Okay, thanks. <laughs> but, uh, uh, it's not a world tour race, but it's world tour level when when we see the, the list of the sprinters. Yeah, true. I think, but I think in a world tour race like the Giro, all the the sprinters have also their best teams, maybe mm -hmm. their best laid out trains and yeah maybe the talent teams have more pressure more they focus more on that race I don't, I don't know we'll yeah see. we'll see okay. uh, that's funny because uh, yeah mark mark won this week with a very small margin and uh, we, we made him wear a skin suit that day and yeah, I don't know what was the difference. It was eight thousand or something? And uh, yeah, for sure, I think that was the difference. And uh, so yeah, we we all try to improve ourselves as a cyclist. And I think yeah, if you can win one watt or two watts wearing a skin suit, yeah, then why not? So um, yeah, cycling is a conventional sport. I think. Uh, People try to hold on the uh, old, old things, you know. And uh, it, first, people are really laughing at me with, that I'm wearing a skin suit. <laughs> and now, yeah, maybe more and more teams are wearing a skin suit. You saw K 
Kevin is riding in the World Championships in a skin suit, and uh, I think that's, I think that's the future also for cycling. Theo, uh, you go to the Giro. What would you be happy to achieve there? And also, you say you're still improving as a rider. So longer term, what goals do you do you have in the sport? Um, yeah, it's it's really difficult after this uh, stage race to to make a goal. It's easy to say now, okay, uh, I go for a win. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. It's 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 my second Grand Tour. Um, yeah, let's say top three. Maybe that's a reasonable goal. And longer term? Uh, longer term, I'm, hop I'm hoping to be a world-class sprinter with uh, with a lot of wins and also with wins in the Grand Tours. Uh, Rancho uh, could uh, win the uh, green mile today uh, in the last uh, kilometer. And, uh, but uh, we see that when you take the stage, uh, he left the the competition and uh, what do you think about it so what is what's the what was the plan on what was the plan yeah you could win the green yeah I, yeah he uh, said he talked we talked about it before the race and um, but he said uh, maybe I go late also with this finish it's possible so he can have some points and if Rossi has, has no points he can win the green jersey but yeah, he said I wouldn't jeopardize the the stage, the stage. so the stage was more important. More important. Yeah. Uh, Nikki. Yeah. Theo, so, um, can you talk about how you and Redshaw kind of divvy up the sprints? I mean, it's something that uh, the team has to work out. I mean, there's no conflict there. Um, no, there's certainly no conflict. Um, as we did it here, it was yeah, you see. I'm not strong enough in the hills to survive and to do a sprint when the, when the peloton is split. He is strong enough. He's stronger uphill. He's stronger in harder races. Um, but in flat, fast races, yeah, that's that's my strength. So I think yeah, we divide it like a little bit like this. He, uh, he, he like for example in Schelderprijs. We said before, okay, if it's windy, if it's gonna be a harder race, yeah, we're gonna work for Mark. If it's no wind and uh, no rain, yeah, then it's for me. So every time we, we think about that, the only thing is I I couldn't do anything for Mark at the moment, so that's, yeah, that's, that's not a nice feeling. And he helped me a lot, so. Uh, yeah, I have to, like I said, I have to pr improve as a cyclist to do also that I can pay him back. Yeah, just a quick one. You've, you've obviously come from a track background. You were very strong there, world champion there, and you've had to transform yourself to be a road rider. Um, <coughs> what's the, I mean, you look leaner, so what's the weight difference, you know, the muscle in terms of losing muscle and maybe getting leaner uh, between when you were at the peak and the track? Um, yeah, when I, was, when I was at my best at the track, uh, let's say 2006, my weight was 83, 82. At the Worlds in Bordeaux, that I think that was my best form. And uh, at the moment I'm way, I, I don't know, I, I didn't step on the scale for a week, but before I went there it was 77.0. So that's, yeah, that's uh, five, six kilograms.